Hello guys, hello momsies and dadgies, welcome back to our YouTube channel. <laughs> guys, kumusta kayo? <laughs> I hope you're all doing great. So, eto na ba? Init na init na ba tayo? <laughs> summer na, summer na guys. Ayan na. And of course, we have another budget-friendly destination na para sa pamilya ngayong summer. <laughs> That's our video for today, guys. As you can read the title, Dito yan sa Tanza Oasis Hotel and Resort. So, ayan na nga, guys. As you can see, we're on our way. So, nag-trike lang ulit kami kasi dito nga lang yan sa Tanza, Cavite. As you all know, we're from General Trias, di ba? So, since nga naka-trike lang kami, hindi kami dumaan sa highway. Diyan kami dumaan sa Kapipisa Road, okay? And if you're from Tanza, um, pumasok lang kami dyan sa Army Reserve Command. Dere-derecho lang yan, then tawid pag nasa highway na. Then ayun, Tanza Oasis na, okay? In your case, guys, if you're coming from Manila and you have your own vehicle, syempre, of course, you can just use your ways or your maps. Ipin nyo lang yung location ng Tanza Oasis Hotel and Resort. Again, their exact address is at KM41 Antero Soriano Highway, Tanza, Cavite. <laughs> area that's the entrance swimming na ulit ang baby as you can see guys ayan dumating na nga kami yan yung concierge area nila dyan kayo mag check in dyan kayo maglilista ng name nyo and of course for the payment na rin speaking of payment guys I'll share something about the payment <laughs> what went wrong okay so stay tuned for that alright so for now, I'm going to be discussing first some of the basics about this resort. By the way, nagwalk in lang pala kami, no reservations, and we visited for a day tour. Okay? Ito pala guys, yung list of summer events nila for March. So if you want to read that, just pause and play. Okay? 
dito naman guys, first time ni Teo malagyan ng swim band. <laughs> Kasi almost lahat ng naswimingan namin guys, eh, free siya, wala siyang bayad. So, wala siyang nakukuwang mga swim band. So, this time, meron. <laughs> Adan na, what will you say to kuya? <laughs> Let's eat again. Oh, say hi na. Hi. Say hi, Kalbo. Say hi, Teo. Busy na siya. Gutom na. Apo, eat na na. Sorry, sorry. So now guys, let's discuss some of the basics about this resort, okay? So, things that you need to know prior to your visit. Number one, of course, ang rates. How much is their swimming entrance fee, okay? So as you can see guys, pool entrance fee for their rate, adult is for 200 pesos, kids is for 150 pesos. So that's from 6 a.m. until 4 p.m. And for a night rate naman, from 5 p.m., to 5 a.m., 250 pesos for the adult, and then 200 pesos for the kids. Guys, as you can see, oh, sa mga gusto lang mag-beach, merong entrance fee na 99 pesos. Okay? Now, guys, let's go to the cottages. Okay? So, they have a mecha cottage, guys, as you can see. That's good for 10 to 15 persons. For day rate, 1,350 pesos. And then for night rate, 1,650 pesos. Okay? For us, guys, ang na-avail namin is yung umbrella or yung tent sa pool area. Kasi nga, family of three lang kami. And yung mega cottage, as I discussed earlier, ay eh mga around 10 to 15 person siya, di ba? Sobrang laki for us. So yun nga, we decided na doon na lang kami sa cottage or umbrella. Sabi ni Kuya, no fee daw kami doon. Pero since may dala kaming food and drinks, we have to pay the corkage fee. And sabi niya, after he checked it, he said ang babayaran namin for corkage is 500 pesos. Okay? Guys, disclaimer ha, depende sa klase and sa dami ng food and drinks na dala nyo ang corkage fee, okay? Kasi nga, he had to check it, he had to ask me kung ano-ano raw yung mga dala naming food and drinks. And then after that, he said na, yun nga, 500 pesos yung corkage fee na kailangan naming bayaran, okay? And then guys, sa electricity charges naman, as you can see, these are the items. Rice cooker, electric fan, electric stove, 300 pesos. Portable or Bluetooth speaker, 300 pesos. Outside video, kaya 1,000 pesos. Camping tent is 750 pesos. Alright, dito naman guys, ito yung rules and regulations nila sa swimming pool. So if you wanna read them, kindly pause and play na lang ulit, okay?
Ito niya guys. These are the cottages. Okay? Located sila sa beach area. As you can see, napakadami nila guys. Hindi kayo mauubusan. <laughs> Ayan yung pinakaloob guys. Pasukin natin. And ayan, oh, di ba? Ang luwag, ang laki. Designed talaga siya for big family and big groups. Courtesy sa husband ko for taking that video while kami ni Feo at ni e nagbababad sa pool. <laughs> Alright. So, if you wanna see the full video, guys, please check out the part 1. Hindi lang yung cottages ang makikita nyo doon. It's a walking tour sa whole resort. Ilalagay ko yung link sa description box and of course, sa end screen din ng video na to. So, check nyo yan, guys. Alright? So guys, let's discuss naman yung mga rooms nila, okay? So for those guys naman na gusto mag-overnight, Tanser Oasis Hotel and Resort offers five different room types, okay? Number one na dyan, yung presidential suite, superior room, deluxe room, junior suite, and executive suite. Okay, so guys, as you can see on top, if you want to check the availability, just put in your desired check-in date, guys, and desired check-out date as well, okay? Now, if all else fails, if nag-error or nag-problem kayo booking online, you can always send them a message on their FB page. Nagre-response naman sila doon. I will put the link in the description box, all right? Alright guys, proceed naman tayo sa kanilang facilities. So for their facilities, they have, of course, number one dyan yung swimming pool. They also have basketball, billiards, beach volleyball, and function rooms. Okay, so if you have any any parties or events na gusto nyong idaos sa Oasis, so contact nyo lang sila, okay? Now, speaking of facilities, guys, as I mentioned earlier, we have a walking tour, right? So all the facilities were shown there. There's swimming pool, basketball, and everything. So please check that out. Again, ilalagay ko sa description box and again sa end screen ng video na to, alright?
Naka ano to? Naka 4K to? Where? Again, again. Say it again. Say it again na. What did you say? I found it. I found it. Good job. Good job. Sa usipan naman. Sa usipan ni Teo ah. Hanggang tuwing naglalabas. Ito ba? Oo, be careful, be careful. Malalabas ikaw. Be careful. Wow, sa usipan. Be careful. Yan sabi ko na lang. What color is your damit? Yellow. Oh, your basket. What color is your basket? Good job. That's one. What color is your sabahita? Blue also. Good job. What color is Spider-Man? Red. Good job, Teo. Oh, be careful, be careful. Now guys, let's discuss naman yung payment. So, na-mention ko kanina na meron akong isha-share regarding payment, di ba? <laughs> so guys, uh, number one tip ko lang, okay, please, please make sure na lang na if you have cash with you, better use cash na lang guys para iwas hassle at hindi na mangyari sa inyo yung nangyari sa akin or sa amin, okay? Ganito kasi yun guys. <laughs> Unfortunately, na double charge ang lola nyo. <laughs> All right. Kasi what happened was, wala kami ng cash on hand that time. Kasi um sobrang night before ko na nalaman na wala pala kami ng cash. Pangbayad sa corkage at sa entrance fee. What I have is of course my debit or my savings account, de ba? So what I did, minessage ko na lang sila sa FB Messenger nila, and then I asked them if nag-accept sila ng debit cards, and then they confirmed naman na yes, nag-accept daw sila, alright? Now on the day itself, unfortunately, nag-fail yung card terminal nila. I'm not sure if mahina yung connection. I don't know. So yung receptionist na kailang try na iswipe yung card ko. All right? It's not na walang laman yung cards ko ga yung card ko guys. Ha, meron naman yon kahit pa pano. So ayun nga faulty yung card terminal. So na double charge ako. All right? So instead of two charges lang naging three charges sa account ko. So another five fifty na charge. 
Ang masakla pa nun, guys, wala akong data ng mga time na yon. <laughs> so, na-check ko na lang siya pag uwi at pagdating namin ng bahay. So, ayun na nga, na, na, nakita ko may three charges instead of two charges lang. Alright? So, agad-agad ko silang pinim. Sinabi ko nga na uh, merong three charges instead of two. And then, sabi nila na if a follow-up, ito check down nila sa accounting nila uh, kinabukasan. Alright? Now, the following morning, ayun na nga, they told me na dalawang araw lang yung charge on their end. And, I have to call daw yung bank ko para yung naka-float daw na other 550 charge eh ma-credit or ma-cancel or something like that. Alright? So, ayun, I called my bank. To cut the story short, guys, nire-refer lang din ako ng bank ko, ng, ni BPI, back to the merchant, back to Oasis, alright? And kailangan ko raw mag-ask ng uh, cer cancellation certificate or cancellation receipt na mga kung anik-anik pa at i-forward ko raw sa kanila, alright? So, ayun na nga guys, sinabi ko yun kay Tan sa Oasis, pero eventually, ayun na nga, they have decided na i-refund na nga lang daw nila sa akin through Gcash, okay, para, para matapos na raw. <laughs> Kasi, syempre guys, 550 pesos is 550 pesos, ba? That's our hard-earned money. Kaya talaga pinaglaban ko siya. Sayang din kasi, lalo na parents na kami, every peso counts, ba? So, super hassle guys, ba? Sobrang nakakastress. <laughs> Sana pala nag-cash na lang kami, ba? Hindi wala pang naging problema. Pinilit na lang pala namin talaga sigurong mag-withdraw mag the night before kami umalas. Kasi dito sa amin, guys, napakahirap ng ATM dito. May kalayuan, kailangan pa talaga naming lumabas, okay? So, yun yung number one tip ko, guys. If my cash on hand, might as well use it. So, ayun nga, avoid as much as possible. Avoid using cards para nga if may mga scenario na ganito, hindi nag-work yung card terminal nila, eh hindi kayo mahahasal pa. Hello! Giant turtle! Okay, picture-picture na po kami. There's the alligator. There's the pool. Yay! Picture, picture! <laughs> Cute naman ang baby na yan. Hindi, baby, ito. Ito, baby, ito, baby. Pakiset up. <laughs> oh, smile, smile. Smile. Donut. Yan.
Okay guys, of course, the last but not the least, ang aming overall experience. <laughs> guys, I would still recommend Tansa Oasis Hotel and Resort. Budget-friendly, malinis, and very gorgeous naman yung mga staff nila, okay? Yung nga lang talaga about sa payment. <laughs> Other than that, we had a great time. And most especially, of course, malapit lang sila sa amin. And guys, of course, disclaimer ha. All the things shared here was based on our experience, okay? And for the rates and prices, all those rates are subject to change without prior notice, alright? But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this travel guide slash travel vlog. <laughs> if nakatulong to sa yo, e comment down mo naman yan sa comment section. Like this video and share to your friends na gusto rin magvisit sa Tansa Oasis Hotel and Resort. Okay? That's it for me, guys. I appreciate you watching and listening. Thank you so much, and we'll see you on our next gala. Byers.